get a load of this guy. Richie Torres, for some reason, decided to post his L on Twitter for everyone to see. And I'm not sure if he thought that this made him look good, but it makes him look deeply unserious. So he says, after speaking at a conference about climate change, I found myself accosted by an anti-Israel extremist who kept following me and foaming at the mouth like a raving lunatic. It's really ironic that he, of all people, would accuse somebody else of being a raving lunatic when this man is one of the loudest cheerleaders for a genocide. 40,000 plus people have been slaughtered because individuals like him vote to send them money to kill those people. If you believe the study from The Lancet that takes into account indirect deaths of the war, um, then it's 200,000. But he's like, no, 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 this person who's against killing, they're a raving lunatic. Yeah, I think you need to look in the mirror, buddy. I refuse to be bullied and intimidated by the extremes of American politics. My support for the U.S.-Israel relationship remains unshaken and unshakable. Well, that's fine, but you are an elected member of Congress. So um, there should be people who try to hold you accountable and politely ask you to stop supporting a genocide, right? But he makes it seem as if the power dynamic uh, is like flipped where this person is trying to bully him and they have all the power. Motherfucker, you're a congressman. You are the one with the power. You are the one that's now using your platform to bully the person who rightfully asked you why you're at a climate change conference when you are supporting Israel's genocide. Since you didn't answer my question, how can you be at a climate summit when you continue to obliterate not only the people of Palestine, but the land? Every bomb that goes off not only kills people. I feel like the people. greatest threat to our country are useful idiots like you. So our greatest threat to our country. Useful idiots like you, he says, as he takes money from a foreign government to commit mass slaughter. But yet this person who's against that is the useful idiot. This man is such a fucking piece of shit. Country is the climate crisis. And here you are sending billions to Israel to carry out the genocide of the Palestinian people. There's and no genocide. It's a figment of your imagination. The U.S. Pentagon is a big... There's no genocide. It's a figment of your imagination. There are no words to describe how despicable this person is. What a loathsome individual. Denying a fucking genocide. Listen... It's times like this where I wish I believed in hell because if it existed, this person would absolutely be burning in hell for the shit that he's doing and saying. What a fucking piece of shit denying a genocide, children being slaughtered. Those videos of little kids being blown up, the video of the little boy with his brain falling out of his head that we all saw from a couple of weeks ago, that's a figment of your imagination according to this asshole biggest polluter in the world. You do have Palestinian constituents. What do you have to say to them? I support all my constituents. You support all of your constituents. Look at his smug fucking face, too. I can't take it. As you continue to funnel I, billions I, of U.S. I, tax I, dollars I support money. all my constituents by opposing terrorism. Every bomb that is... No, asshole, you're supporting terrorism. Those dollars that you're sending to Israel, it's supporting terrorism. The IDF is a terrorist organization. You're supporting that. You are the terrorist, buddy. On indigenous sacrifice lands. It is a climate disaster, let alone the ecological warfare. The billions of dollars that we spend here could go to climate solutions. You are funding the obliteration of, of a people. You know, you just you're just like walking around the block with me right now. You don't even know where to go. And you don't even know how to answer how you have literally been funding a genocide. There's no genocide from their You have not said the word Palestine so what, what once. What do? about Palestinian people? You have what nothing about to say about Just to remind you, he shared this video on his own volition because I'm assuming he thinks it makes him look good. Delusional doesn't even begin to describe it. Uh, there's another one. So what, what would you what do under those circles? You have what nothing to say about these really suffering. Okay. I you have nothing to say about Israeli suffering. We're not funding Israeli suffering, first of all. Second of all, she is not the person who is in power, you dumbass. You're the person in power. You're the person who has the ability to affect change. That's why she's asking you. But I mean, if you go back to the tweet, he's like, oh, she's trying to bully me. He, he doesn't realize that he actually is in the most powerful government in the world. You are the one with the ability to do something, but yet you're like, oh, you won't come. It doesn't matter if she condemns shit. 
what she says or does doesn't matter because she has no fucking power. You have power, Richie. Is this guy serious? He, he can't be serious. This is the dumbest person in Congress. I swear to God. Dumbest Democrat for sure. Thank you. Can I thank you? Shame on you for continuing to carry out. Can I thank you? I think we're done here. I, well, whatever she says to you, I take it all back because I thank you. Thank you so much. Without you, I don't know where we'd be. Seriously. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now I know why he shared it, because of that lady, bootlicker. Thank you so much. Why don't you just get down and lick his boots while you're at it? Groveling to power like that. Despicable. This guy is such a fucking embarrassment. He actually, remember, he admitted on a podcast that his support for genocide was actually making it difficult to find people to date. Because he talked about how uh, like, he'd tell people on dates he's a Zionist, and they'd be like, oh. And then, you know... He, he would he would put his number in their phones as your favorite Zionist as if that's charming. Um, so like he's mad, right? He's pissed off and he thinks he's owning them, but he's going to be nothing more than a member of Congress who supports genocide, who is sexually frustrated because nobody wants to fuck you because you're a murderous war criminal. Like that's all you're going to be remembered for. Um, I hope that Jamal Bowman primaries him and kicks his ass to the curb. It would be really, really nice to see him eat shit in an election for his support for genocide. Unfortunately, I don't know if that's a possibility right now because voters in America, even though if you poll them about it, they're against the United States government sending weapons to Israel to do a genocide, uh, you know, but it's not that salient to them. So they're okay with somebody like this remaining in Congress. It's not like a red line for Americans. And until it is, people like him and John Fetterman, they're going to gloat about their support for genocide and pretend like they're on the right side of history. But I promise you, future history books are not going to look back kindly on people like this. People who are defending the murder, the indiscriminate slaughter of Since women you didn't answer my and children like this with this full chest. It's just so gross. And then posting it as if this is some sort of a victory for him. No, you're gross, man. You're a sick son of a bitch. And if you had any shame, you would not share shit like this at a minimum. But like, if I were him, I couldn't live with myself. I would resign from Congress. But he has no shame. You can't shame the shameless. So he's going to continue to post this L's on the timeline and let people know how much of a genocide supporting piece of shit he is. But, you know, that's fine. You can, you know, broadcast your genocidal intent to all of us. But your constituents have a right to confront you about it and to pressure you to not do that.